Hey guys, and welcome back to another unboxing video. This is UGR Gaming, aka Brandon. Uh, nice to see you guys again. Uh, so today, uh, well, it is it is election day, uh, but I had a really cool surprise that happened when I uh, went out to go vote today, and I got this in the mail from the really cool people over at Elgato. Uh, they sent me over this Elgato HD60 Pro, which is the internal capture card that they have out now. Um, I've been really nervous when it comes to like internal stuff because I'm not very good with uh, computers and computer parts and putting things together. Uh, but I've been told that it's very simple, very easy to put together. So I decided to do a quick unboxing of it so you guys can see what's inside and then also showing myself putting in there just for evidence if I do break something then you guys will know that I broke it. Um, and also kind of a look at what, how the quality of everything is. Alright, so here's the box as you guys can see here, um, right there, let's get a little bit closer, the Elgato HD60 Pro right there, and of course, oh, but the back of the box, which I'm going to read what's on the back of this, it's my first time using this camera, so still working on the mic quality, so we got to work on that, but uh, some of the uh, things that we have on the back is here, it says setting eight, uh, 1080p quality with 60 FPS, which is always good, advanced H.264 uh, hardware encoding, lag free HDMI pass through uh, to TV slash monitor, which is always good because especially when you're playing games and, and you're, if you're streaming or recording, it's always nice to not have to put a delay on your camera and your microphone, uh, which is definitely a step up from the last one, which I previously had. Previously had. Um, it's the game view, stream with uh, super low latency technology, which is great. Stream command, uh, you can add your own webcam, overlays, and more. A built-in live commentary feature. Uh, let's see. Unlimited capture right to your PC, which is, of course, what we all want. Um, flash, uh, flashback recording, record uh, retroactively. And uh, master copy, spontaneously 1080p uh, 60H.264 recording while streaming, which is always good. All right, so this is also for... You can use this for your PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, Wii U, and I'm assuming PlayStation 3 with uh, with another device you would have to use. Um, and also, this is for, you can use this for Windows 7, I'm assuming Windows 8 and Windows 10, which is also good. Um, and yeah, so we're just going to open this up real quick so you guys can see what's inside. Um, I kind of opened it. Uh, just to make sure everything was good in there, so you guys, there, it was just packaging on there, so it's already kind of open. But yeah, see your skills. They read the second word. Immortalized. There you go. Boom. All right. So we got that going. And so this is the inside, where basically it tells you. And here's the one thing we got here. Um, let's see, the lighting's good. Okay. So this is the plate which uh, you have to, you can put on top of the the capture card once you put it in on the back of your computer so that you can know which one is HDMI in and HDMI out here. So that's good. Um, and then basically like the box is telling you like, you know, how to uh, go to the website to install the software that you need for your program uh, to record. Uh, and here is the card itself, right here. Very, very small, right here. Like, boom, this is it. Like, all the information, all the all the stuff that you need that you want to record or stream with is all right here, which is pretty pretty cool. Um, and let's see what else. We got, looks like we got a little Elgato sticker, which I can put some on my computer so people will know that I have it, uh, El, uh, Elgato Gaming capture card in there. And also, let's take a look. Ah, oh, which I always love. Which I always love. An HDMI cord. I love that. I love having extra ones because back in the day, and I always say this, they never used to give you these, but I have so many now that it's just like really incredible. All right, so let's actually show you guys the capture card here so you guys can see what it looks like. So I'm packaging it here. All right. So oh, actually, no, there you go. You can actually, right there, I guess. What is this part for then? I guess if you if you got two of these or something, if there was some reason why someone needed two, maybe that's what this is for. I'm not sure, but I must be wrong. But all right, so let's take a look over at this. You guys can see the HDMI in, the HDMI out here. Uh, this is where you would be plugging in 
your capture card into your computer right here. All right. HD60 Pro, in case you didn't know what you got. And also, more branding of the Elgato brand right there. And of course, right there, all the stuff on the inside. All right. I mean, this is, this is, this is it. I mean, I was expecting like a lot of different stuff. So, I mean, it's always good to like, especially when you have new um, computer parts or gaming parts, like for it to be simple, very easy to use. And let's put this in my computer and, and, and try it out. All right, cool. All right, so now we have uh, the Elgato Game Capture HD software now, which uh, I'm kind of familiar with because I had the previous one uh, a few years ago. So it looks like they have some updates here. So obviously you won't see a game here because I'm using a program that has this program in it. So you won't see it, but I'll show you the quality of it. Um, so right here is kind of where you have like your options of like, you know, your different systems that you want to use. Um, for it has Xbox One, uh, PS4, Xbox 360, iPad, which I have not experienced yet iPhone, iTouch, um, Wii U and other, which I'm not sure what other would be, but then you could use different inputs uh, depending on what system you have. Um, you can do the different qualities you want, but usually you would want to have, uh, you know, 1080p if you want that. Uh, 60 frames per second, which is you could switch it on and off. Um, I want the best quality, so I'm gonna put that up there. Uh, and then you have your stretches there. Uh, picture, you can change the brightness and all that stuff right there. Profiles, you can add a, I guess, a particular profile to a, a certain situation. You can add it here. So if you need to switch it to something else, you can just switch it up. Uh, which I, I have never done that, so I would, I wouldn't know. Um, but you have your live streaming software where you can actually like um, stream right from this program. If you want to do that, um, you can add your account there, change the title. You have your game audio, your live commentary, which you can use to put your uh, camera in there. I'm already using a, another thing, but these are all the selections of different microphone uses. Um, now, this is new. I have not checked this out yet, but uh, I just, when I downloaded the software, uh, uh, Elgato Sound Capture, which I guess take control of your PC audio with the uh, Elgato ca uh, Sound Capture, add team chat and music to your streams and video. So, since I, I, I most, I, wouldn't be using this because I use XSplit. Um, this is, would be kind of cool for someone who was like trying out like streaming or wanting to, if they do use the software to stream, this would be kind of cool. Because uh, there, there is always sometimes issues with uh, capturing game chat um, when if you're trying to do it within the system. I know that for PS4 that happens a lot. Um, but I'm still trying to figure that out myself. But um, they also have like, you know, different scenes you could do here. Uh, when you record, like if you're recording, you do it here, commentary and stuff. And you, there's a stream button here. Um, let's see, we have edit. So I guess if you record a video, you can edit it all here. Um, you could do it, uh, send it off to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, you can email it to people, Apple TV, which I, that was an option before. So that's cool. That's new. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the software. I can't show you this because I'm obviously have it in a, a different program. Uh, but I can kind of show you what the quality of the game is like um, on here. So we're going to switch it up here. Wow. Oh, no signal. Let's take this off. We got to refresh that. Okay. Can we do it? Let's see. Oh, one second. Oh, actually. Because I actually turned the system off. Because my Xbox, I have the old school Xbox, so it's pretty loud. So that's one reason why. But it's turning on in a second. That's why I was off. Now that is that is really crisp. I have to say that looked really cool. That looked really cool. All right. I don't know why I get so shocked by like uh, graphics. And I know this is an older system, but still that, that looks good. All right. So we're going to sign into my account here. Oh, I got to turn my controller. All right, so the game that I have selected is Naruto Rise of the Ninja. So let me actually, oh, I can, I can grab everything. Take that out and actually put it in here because um, I actually have been looking for this game for a while. And, sorry. Yeah, I've been looking for this game for a while and I actually got my hands on it, which is very nice. Uh, I want to see what it looks like, so there will probably be some updates. So we'll check it out real quick. the update.
As you can see, this is playing in real time. I, I'm not looking at a TV or a different monitor. I'm literally like playing this in real time. So this is definitely a good uh, low latency. So that's always good for what I stream because I, I I like to not have to worry about like putting delays on my camera or microphone when it comes to streaming because I used to have to do this a lot. All right, so let's load up the game. Hopefully it loads. We'll see. I mean, it looks really good. I, I have to say so myself. It's like, it looks really good. A nine-tailed fox suddenly appeared. Its tails lashed out, smashing mountains and sending tidal waves crashing to the shores. The ninja rose up to defend their villages. Hold the attack and wait for the fourth Hokage! It's getting closer! Don't let it near the village! One shinobi faced the nine-tailed fox in mortal combat. He sacrificed his life to capture the beast and seal it in a human body. This ninja was known as the Fourth Hokage. Maybe after you clean this all up, I could take you out for some ramen. The good stuff. What do you think? Huh? Now that's some serious motivation! I'll have this clean in no time! Naruto. Mm? Why would you do that to the Hokage faces? I mean, you know who the Hokage are, don't you? Of course I do! Then why did you... Because I'm going to be greater than any of them! Me! Naruto! The next Tokage, a ninja legend. The All right, to kind of show you guys a little bit of the quality of this game, it is, I have to say, very, very good. Um, it is very nice. I mean, it's very crisp too. Um, and this is an older game. This game, I'm not sure when it came out, but definitely uh, a while ago. Uh, but this is on Xbox 360. Um, so I'm just gonna do a real quick test of the latency so i just press pause um so let's see up down 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 up 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 down up down i mean definitely can play this right off of the pc which is perfect like if you don't have to have a another way of having to watch um gameplay this is good um, I don't want to get too far into the game because I'm actually going to be starting this from the beginning on stream tonight. Um, but yeah, as you guys can see, you saw in the opening cutscene, and people are mad at me and they don't want to talk to me. Uh, from the opening cutscene, it's really crisp. Um, sound quality is awesome. Like you could you could just see it from here. Um, but yeah, this is the Elgato HD60 Pro, the internal capture card. Um, if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave uh, all the information in the description below. Um, and if you guys like this video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and share it with your friends. It's awesome. Um, but yeah, this is UGR Gaming, aka Brandon. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Buzz off. <laughs>